Hi guys and dolls of YouTube, oh, it's Arsmith coming at you. What it is is um, today I'm working on I'm working on as in the phones and as you can see that's um how can I put it? That's an older description I used to always use um, a while back, a long time back. And if you can see there, it says, according to that, it says, dear from more than a year ago. And as you can see, it says... Seventy seven feedback as in so that's seventy seven feedback um received as being a sailor and if you look back in two thousand and seventeen between two thousand and seventeen two thousand and eighteen a lot of it was lower priced because I used to get it as in a really a cheap price of a guy who I used to deal with as in up at um, Buckingham and it was all the stuff that he couldn't shift as in he couldn't sell and I used to take them as untested and that description you can see there which says there that's the wording I used to use and I used to put them on eBay and eBay's changed a lot since back then and as you can see there's all positives and as you can see it says fast and easy brilliant would work would work with again as in there's a Ericsson Walkman W205 white it was um, obviously it was orange that was on it um, back then I didn't have the equipment back then because I just didn't have the money to buy the equipment back then but there's one that says 10 out of 10 first class seller shout, shout outs for the additional Walkman big up yeah, I remember this one, fun enough, and it was a Motorola Razor V3 Black, and it was locked to, it was actually locked to Vodafone, and as you can see, I just put, I just left it as in left a response to that, because I totally forgot, um, and I just pulled it up then, because I was looking through feedback and stuff to list stuff on eBay. The reason why I'm showing you this guys is because I have my eBay page attached to um, my YouTube about section and I've actually listed I've actually listed three today but I've totally listed them differently to what I used to and I'm a bit sort of, I'm sort of a bit doubtful as in the way I've worded it because I don't really like, the thing is I don't really like comebacks but if I've sold it in such a way I will actually, if the customer gets in contact with me and says by the way I bought this phone, I bought this phone off you no, I'm not happy. I'll ask them the question why they're not happy and I'll sit with messages back and forward until I resolve whatever the issue is. Now sometimes when I've done issues in the past, usually what I'll do with a seller or the buyer is, I'll say to the buyer, Either you take a replacement, so you send phones back, two phones that you originally got, 
which you would pay the cost back to me. I wouldn't take the cost back, send it back to you as in the customer. Where what I do is you do a replacement, but if the customer then turns around and says no, I don't want a replacement. I would like my I'd like my initial money back. What I usually do is whatever price that I've priced them at, and also the postage that's been paid. If there's postage been paid, then I will refund it back because what I've done is. I'll just show you guys one in particular. Now, when that first came, when this first this unit first came in, there was only. I give me five minutes. When I got this, there wasn't two. There was only one, and. There's one that's saying it's in beautiful condition. It's like really, it's really, it's like really pristine condition, and I mean really good, really nice. Um, by the time that I've done all what I've had to do here, I didn't repair it. It came in as untested. Um, that charger wasn't even there. It wasn't, it was basically a lead. The lead wasn't even the right lead. It was two USB ends. So I couldn't even charge the phone up. And this is the whole package now. So what it is, is there's two phones. There's one in mint condition. There's one in reasonable condition and that. They only get one charger. The charger come with it. And as you can see, there's all the paperwork. That's all the paperwork for the thing. There's a brand new... Well, I don't know if it's a brand new SIM, but the SIM was in the box, which usually, it doesn't usually come with SIM card. But I've left it because I'd rather sell it like this. Um, I know that the... the mm -hmm, I know that the... It, may, it might be... As in, but that's I don't know if I as in that's I need to get at least but if you pay that twenty five pound the the price of the thing me the 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 body in that as in for the as in the £25. So if it does say, for instance, somebody does buy it now, and say, for instance, it takes an extra four or five pound postage, I will actually refund that back, and the customer will pay that. But if the customer's not happy with that phone, that's what he would get back. He gets his 25 but he wouldn't get his five or six pound to send it back, as in for to return that. But it's got to be returned in the condition that it was sold in, as in that whole lot's got to come back. As in if it turns out that it's faulty because I've put it as, as in it's a used phone. And as you can see, that's the description there. So if you'd like to look at anything, guys, as in, and you see something that you do like, or there's something that's not on my eBay, please contact me and ask me. Alec, can you, have you got such and such a model, have you got this model, have you got that model, as in I'll have a look through what I've got and I'll tell you yes or not and then we'll do, you can do a deal as in, over, as in an email, um, the only thing is I won't be sending them, I won't be sending them overseas, the only reason is because of the lithium batteries, here I would have to take a lithium battery out and leave it with no battery in it or you can put the battery in the phone it's got to be connected to the phone but basically as in if the battery swells up it's not my problem it's not my fault because the that's what they were on about was the lithium batteries and they were saying about the lithium batteries because of the altitude as in going on to the plane 
as in them being up near, that's what can happen to them and that's why sometimes the postal services turn around and say no, we're not taking responsibility, no, that's, we won't, you can't send it, and that's, that's the trouble, that's the trouble. But if you've got, say, for instance, a relative that's in the United Kingdom, I will send it to them and they can send it on ease. If you wish, thanks for your time, guys. Thanks. Bye.